Hey guys, my name is Rico Leon and I attend Oak Park Church of Christ over the last decade, myself and my uh, family. Uh, you may have heard of me. I was working with uh, Heart for Home in Haiti over the last uh, many years uh, and now we are part of Lifeline Christian Mission. I just wanted to share a quick thought with you on this daily reflection and hope that you are doing well as you watch uh, this short little video. I love gardening. This is something that I love. I didn't grow up in the on the farm, but I just love it. I love seeing something um, being buried, dead, germinate, raised from the dead, and grow again. I mean, you can get the the uh, the, the illustration right there. Um, I started doing a little gardening and uh, a, a little uh, garden in the back of my yard, and I wanted to plant some uh, beets. But uh, I'd say three or so years ago, I did plant some beets and I had some leftover seeds, which I, uh, uh, I hid in my drawer uh, in the kitchen. So this year I, I tend the soil and, um, and, and I thought like, okay, I'm gonna go buy some seeds because I kind of forgot that those seeds were around. And, and I just happened to check and there were the seeds. So my first thought was, um, Oh, these seeds are expired, they dried up, and uh, but hey, what's the harm? Let me put them in the ground while I buy myself some time to go buy some seeds, which I did. It took me about five or six days before I made it to the store to get those seeds. But the thing that caught my attention is by the time I had the new seeds, I went to plant them, and fair enough, the old seeds that I thought dried out started growing. They sprouted out and they were growing, they germinated, and I was, uh, was kind of puzzled for a little bit. So here's the thing, those seeds stayed in my drawer for over three years, but the moment I moved them from the drawer into the proper place, nice soil, good moisture, they grew. The very same seeds, they didn't grow in the drawer. I could have left them there perhaps for 20 years, they would have stayed seeds. But the moment I changed the environment and put them in the right environment, they grew. I think what I'm trying to say, guys, is uh, um, sometimes if you notice you're not growing and you're not noticing any change in your life, maybe the best thing to do is to start switching and changing your environment. Our environment has a lot to do with our growth. Remember this little saying, show me your friends and I'll predict your future. Sometimes our spiritual life can get stagnated, if that's a word. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, stalled realize what is going on perhaps it's our environment it's a group of people it's where we are that same seeds germinated and grew once it's at the proper place while it would not grow in the opposite place psalms chapter one uh one of my favorite chapter actually and verse three it says david actually talks about the tree it says you will be like a tree planted where by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit and its season. However, if that very same tree was planted in the Sahara Desert, it would be withered, dried up, no growth whatsoever. That very same seed, the potential is within the seed inside of you, but has the chance to grow or to shrink depending on the environment on where it is. My challenge to you guys is... Pray that God will send you a group of people, friends, or leave your environment of a group of friends and people. Put yourself into a nice small group, people who are seeking the Lord if you want to see yourself grow spiritually. Forgive me for being inside the kids' uh, <laughs> little playhouse, perhaps you can notice. Huh? Uh, that's the only quiet place I could find in the house with my four kids to just like come and share this little thought with you. God bless you, love you guys, and uh, hopefully we'll talk again next time.